Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinicals as STTM programming. In this video series, we are taking a look at some of the STTM programming general concepts which are reused across different STTM domains. So in this video, we will talk about the lesson which is about creation of study day derivation in STTM data sets. So we will use vital science data as an example. So some background about the study days. In general, clinical trials, the data collected for a subject can be classified into two types. That is data prior to treatment start and data on or after treatment start. Treatment start date is generally considered as the reference start date and is considered as day one of the study for a subject. So instead of talking in absolute date values, it will be easy for the reviewers if the dates are represented in relative values to this day one. For example, it is easy on the mind when interpreting the text. From day 4 after treatment start, the subject's blood pressure got lowered. When compared to the text, from 18th July 2010, the blood pressure got lowered for the subject who started treatment on 15th July 2010. So when we talk about these absolute dates, in the back of our mind, we still go and try to find the difference between the treatment start date and the date of collection or or any event. So we are actually trying to present that difference from the treatment start date in terms of these relative values. So we have this relative day variables for this specific purpose. So for this relative day values, all collections before reference start date are given a negative integer value starting from minus 1 and then decrementing to minus 2, minus 3 and so on. So the, far, the lower the number, that means the farther the collection from the treatment start date or reference start date. And all the collections on or after reference start date are given positive integer value starting from 1. And there is no day 0 concept as per CDS KSDTM standard because we are considering the day of treatment start as day 1 and all the days prior to that are being given negative numbers, there is no concept of day zero in STTM standard. In you may find some in the older clinical trial uh, literature, you they refer the treatment start date as day zero, but if you are following CDISC SDTM standard or CDISC ADAM standard, there is no concept of day zero. It's only day one or minus values or positive values after one. So SDTM standard allows for creation of the study day variables to capture the relative day of the observation starting with the reference date as day 1. So these study day variables end with dy using the same fragment from the dependent date variable which means for example relative day of LBDTC is stored in a variable LBDY. So DTC is replaced with dy. Similarly, relative day for AEST DTC is stored in AEST DY. So the fragment AEST is being retained to this relative study day variable for adverse event start date, which is AEST DY. Similarly, the relative study day variable for CM EN DTC is CM EN DY. So what will be learn in this lesson? In this lesson, we will see how to derive study day variables in STTM datasets. Let us take a look at the input data that we will be using for this lesson. So we have our demographic data set because we need a demographic data set to fetch the reference start date because we store the reference start date variable in SDTM DM domain. So we have data for three subjects, 1001, 1002 and 1003 of which only two subjects have RFSTDTC populated and the third subject has it null. This means the subject might not have taken the dose. So let us take a look at the vital signs data set. So we have already the VSDTC available in ISO format and this is a, an intermediate data set which is created as part of vital signs programming. So we have vital sign state, we have reference star date in demographic status. It. We need to compare these two reference star date and vital signs date to create our study day variable. Now let us take a look at the specification on how to derive vital signs study day. So if the collection date is on a reference star date, then 
the difference of VSDTC and RFSTDTC and add one to that difference. Else, if the date is before reference start date, then assign as just the difference between VSDTC and reference start date. So now let us try to manually fill in the reference start date or the relative study day variable for vital signs for this sample data. So we have our vital signs date and also a reference start date on each of the records. So we have data for three subjects 1001, 1002 and 1003. Let us take a look at the data for 1001 first. So the subject's reference start date is 15th Jan 2010. So let us try to find the record which is collected on that day. So we have seen that the collection which is made on the or, or we have seen that reference start date is considered as day one. So we have a collection on the same day of treatment start date which is 15 Jan 2010. So we were given in the specification that any record which has a collection date on or after reference start date we were asked to use the difference between VS, VSDTC and RFSTDTC and add 1 to that difference. So 15 minus 15 plus 1. So 15 minus 15 is 0 plus 1 is 1. So this is what we meant when we said reference start date will get a value of 1. The collection is made on the reference start date. So we have a value of day 1 on that day. And then we have a collection on 16th Jan and the reference start date is 15. 16 minus 15 is 1. So as this date is after reference start date, we need to add plus 1 to that difference. So this will become 2. And then we have a collection on 18th Jan, 18th Jan and compared to the reference start date 15. 18 minus 15 is 3, but we need to add plus 1 to this difference as this date is after reference start date. So we have seen the case for uh, first subject and next is the okay let us try to populate the values for our pre-treatment record as well or the collections which happened before treatment started as well so 14 Jan versus 15 Jan so when the collection is prior to the reference start date we were just asked to populate the difference between VSDTC and RFSTDTC 14 minus 15 is minus 1 so let's fill in that 11 minus 15 is minus 4. Let's populate that. 10 minus 15 is minus 5. So we get a value of minus y in VSDY. So similarly, we can populate VSDY manually for other subjects also. We will not get a VSDY value for the subject 1003 because we need RFSTDTC to be populated in order to calculate RF a VSDY. So though VSDTC is present, RFSTDT is blank, so this cannot be calculated for the third subject. But this can be populated for subject 1002 as we have both VSDTC and RFSTDTC populated along the same lines as how we have populated for 1001. And now let us move on to the programming on how we can calculate study day variable. So we have our vital science data set and demographics data set as we need reference start date to be present alongside the vital science date. So we are fetching reference start date from demographics data set into vital science data set and keeping only the records for the subjects who are present in vital science. And then what we are trying to do here is as we cannot uh, do arithmetic operations of sub subtraction uh, on the date values which are present in character date format. So we are creating numeric versions of vital science collection date and the reference star date using input function and yymmdd 10 dot. So and we are also performing this uh, conversion whenever the date is at least the full date component is present. And then we are checking whether the vital science collection date is before the reference star date. If so, we are assigning the VSDY with a value of the difference between vital science collection date and reference start date. And on all the records where vital science date is on or after the reference start date, we are getting the difference between vital science collection date and reference start date and adding one to that difference. 
so we can calculate vital signs date in this way so let us take a look at the intermediate data set that is getting created as part of this So into this VS02 data set, we have obtained the RFSTDTC from demographics data set and kept it side by side the VSDTC by merging it at subject level. In VS03, what we have done is created a numeric version of RFSTDTC and named it RFSTDT. And then we also created numeric version of VSDTC and called it VSDT. And then we created VSDY using the algorithm provided in the specification so this is how we can create study day variable in any of the htm data sets using reference star date and the date of interest so here in this case it was vital signs it can be any date like adverse event start date adverse event end date uh, concomitant medication start date or end date and it can be any date value in SDTM datasets. So thank you for watching and keep learning.